Start off by putting the correct presser foot on. The R foot has a little bit of a front part that's going to sit right in front of the white ankle and then the, the bar, the silver bar, is what goes into the little mouth of that ankle and just click it right up. There is a time where I might suggest the Viking, Hus uh, and Viking uh, sensor Q foot for some more uh, extra special things so if for any reason you have some trouble there is another foot that um, really makes everything all work together. We're going to start off by making a doing a bobbin and so I do use a thread stand for all my work. Yes you can put it on here. I am going to also thread the machine and have it go through the needle for winding a bobbin. Now I'm going to show you a little trick here and you've probably seen how you have that little tiny ridge on your Husqvarna Viking bobbins up here. Now, because when we're embroidering, we are going to depend on that bobbin sensor telling us when we are low of thread, it will stop and then we'll change the thread out, which is wonderful. But sometimes people complain, oh, there's so much thread left up at that top little ridge. So here's my little trick. So we're gonna take this and yes, I know they say to use a metal foot when you are winding a bobbin. The one thing I am gonna say is just make sure your presser foot is up and not down you definitely don't want tension on that. Thread the bobbin through the little hole from the inside to out. We're putting the bobbin right here on the bobbin winder and engage it. Your picture is going to come up. You do need to have your foot control plugged in and go ahead and step on the foot control to start winding. Now as soon as it starts winding, just a few little uh, couple rounds, tap <laughs> the thread so it jumps down past that little top ridge. What it does is it leaves less thread up there and so when the sensor goes off there's a little bit left that you have to pull off. Now you can definitely usually pull this off. Bobbin thread so strong. I'm going to clip it and make sure there's no little tail coming up and then we'll just wind a nice full bobbin. Now bobbin thread is a lot thinner than your regular embroidery thread so that means you're going to get a lot of yardage on your bobbin. And you usually use white. There's really not a lot. There's times where I'll match my bobbin thread, like I'll wind a bobbin of this so it matches. But a lot of times I don't need to. So just go ahead and use, use your white thread. Uh, sometimes I'll switch to black if for any reason the back of my project is a dark color. That will hide it quite a bit there. Just remember it's coming up across the front. Make sure it's in this little groove. And then just keep winding till it stops. Isn't it so exciting? You've probably waited so long to have an embroidery machine and now we're finally getting to where we get to, to get it started and get it using. I told you there's a lot of thread on here. So just keep winding and it'll stop. There we go. We'll just stop there. Okay, slide it back. There's a little cutter here. So just cut your thread and then we'll go ahead and take this out. Yes, I often do pull my threads out backwards because embroidery is not as linty as when you're sewing, but if you are concerned at all, you can always cut and pull that thread out the needle so you're not dragging anything linty back up through your machine. So bobbin, H is on top, drop that in. We don't have to do anything different. Your machine will actually set the tension different for the needle um, uh, for your embroidery because it knows we're in the embroidery mode. Thread, just go ahead. We want a good quality thread and this is a polyester. This is actually an isocord thread that I use quite a bit. So I have also lots of colors. Notice I'm holding my thread with my left hand as I'm threading up. That means I'm making sure it gets all the way down into the, the groove. Needle threader becomes your friend because you're gonna change those colors quite a bit. Now your thread can just sit over the edge of the foot. You don't have to thread that down and underneath it all. Now we're ready for our hoop. So our hoop's gonna come in. If you have really thick fabric, you can always lift the presser foot up a little higher and it'll slide in. We're looking for the little, um, the bracket that you had on the left side when you hooped it. And look right here where the little mouth is. You're gonna go ahead and push it firmly in. Now I want you to use strength. I want you to be firm with your machine because you're going to hear a click. If for any reason you don't hear a click, then probably take it off and reset it again. When you go to take it off, you push down on the gray lever and pull towards you. And again, pull. Don't be wimpy about it. Get good and firm with your machine. Nice click in. So everything is ready here. So next, we're going to go into the screen, how we pick designs, and how we get started with embroidery.